I absolutely hate heights, but this job has to be done. It's solar panel time. Here's what's coming up. Oh, I forgot movement there. These are the products that we're going to be using in today's video. So we've got three solar panels from Renergy um, that are 170 watt or I don't know what that is, that D. If you know, let me know in the comments if you do know. But I'm going to say watt. So 170 watts of power, whatever, um, and it's three of them. So we're going to be then putting them all together, um, combined in the power and then making it like 500 and something. Um, we're gonna be using these to connect all the female and the, all the negative and positive, I guess. Um, we'll work it out, guys, but this is what we're using. They are from Renergy um, and recommended from Greg Venaro. Um, I hope I'm saying his name right, but um, yeah, he's been helping loads. He's gonna come down and help with the electrics as well. Um, I'll put all his links in the description, but let's get to it. Let's get these solar panels on the roof. So guys, all dad's doing here is we've laid the solar panel down. He's then cutting out a border to go on top of the solar panel that we're gonna stick with some aluminium tape or just any tape we've got. We're gonna then stick it on the top just so, that was letting my finger. Just so when we put it up, um, it stops the sun from charging them and kind of making them live straight away. Um, so we don't blow ourselves up. And then what he's done, is when we fit in the brackets, he, dad's gone out and just got some of these, what is it called? Locking. Locking. Locking wash. Locking washers. They don't come with this, so if, you, if you're if you a bit more skeptical like us, we'd, we really want it to be fully secure. So they don't even give you washers when they come with a pack. So we've used these washers to go on here, and then we've used the locking washer to go on top as well just to clamp everything in, just so when we go over bumps and stuff, it doesn't, you know, right. rattle loose at all. So he's gonna put it in now. So, nut, big washer, like this, goes under. This is what we're doing. And then we're gonna put that over. Big washer, then the locking washer then the lock and nut. Okay guys, so the three solar panels are temporary up. They're not bolted down yet. But the only thing is we've run into a small little problem, um, which is an absolute nightmare, which I didn't realize. But these are where the solar panels are obviously gonna plug into. Um, all three are gonna plug into here. And then obviously all the three of these ones are gonna plug into here. Now, the only thing is, as you can see, we're missing, we're too short here. So what we're gonna have to do is get an extension and then plug them in here so the, the extension fits into this and then they all, all basically fit.
Okay guys, so we just drilled a hole straight through. We're gonna put it up here, um, only because the edge here is very, it's not flat at all. So we're gonna put that through there. Just Dad just made a grommet up to go in, just because the grommet was too big. Um, but now it is perfect. And then we're gonna go with the wires, put them through. It looks an absolute, absolute mess, but here's the solar panel so far. But it's looking good. It's just been a really long and hard day, to be honest. Um, I haven't got much footage, but I'll put together what I can, um, just so you can have something to watch. But we're using this Sticker Flex 554, which is the most strongest Sticker Flex you can do out of all of them. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Yeah, see, there'd be loads of got a brick. Yeah. The solar panels are finally completed. I am absolutely sweltering. It has been such a long day. My camera died twice. My storage was full. It was an absolute nightmare. The solar panels alone needed an extension lead and didn't fit. I couldn't get an Amazon Prime, so I went to like the, one of the local um, solar panel places. They didn't have it, but they could build it for me, but I would have to come and crimp it all. So I had to crimp it all, as you've probably seen on the video. It was an absolute nightmare, guys. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare. So sorry if i skipped footage or i didn't get everything um on the footage that you wanted to see but i did try my best and it's just one of them days you know um but all in all the job is completely done i'm happy the solar panels are up all mounted all plugged in the wires are behind me coming down all ready to be wired in to the electrical system so all in all a bad day turned into a good day so i'm happy i'm gonna roll some b-roll shots now of the solar panels on the roof and I am going to leave it at that. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you've got any tips or advice for me. And guys, I'm out of here. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.